Loads of cheese, mate. Loads of cheese. Double cheese. We're back. It is day two of the big cheese. It's final day. I'm here with Midori. What's up? We've got some good stuff coming up. It's top 24. We've got Brad and Musket, Musket coming up. Which has been an interesting match. I don't think they've played pretty much ever. Nah, never, I don't think. Um, Unless they played at like BAM or something, but I don't think that they have. I think they did, but I also wouldn't know. Mm. So we've got two very nice, very technical box players. Big fan of Brad and Musket. I like it. Alright, starting group. Fairly standard pick. Brad with the red. Just trying to box him out. Couple of hot Oh, nice up tilt. That should be. Oh, what an angle. Edge. Oh, hi. Oh, that was nice up there. Can he. Oh, oh, a drop, bit too slow on the edge. edge. They're just punching each other. <laughs> yep, that's yep, that's the Australia. That's, ooh, ooh, that barely kills. Alright, well. Plus cat. Takes first stock. 69. Uh -huh. <laughs> Red tries tries to get a little bit too custom and drops it. <laughs> Big fan of custom. Okay. Brad ties it right back up. Oh, he caught it. Caught him going to the top platform. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! Look at the conversions! Let's go musket! Up there? Any? Oh no. Oh. I don't think up there would have killed there actually. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Musket with a pretty clean one stock lead right now. Up, oh, and then Brad catches him <laughs> going to the top platform. Ooh, catches him with the up tilt. Up tilt, pretty good. Good follow up. Go again. Uh, almost. Ooh. <laughs> he just catches him running in. The raw call out. Raw call out. Nuh uh. It's like, come on, man, come here. My, my legs are here, bro. <laughs> oh, ooh. Drops the bang grab. A slight DI behind. It's kind of difficult to just follow with another grab. At that percentage as well. Yeah. Because like you can't du you can't dash back and grab. You have to like slow. You have to like. Oh, or, yeah, or, yeah. or you can dash back shield stop. Oh yeah, but it's just it, it's the awkward one. Yeah. It's the execution test. It's, like, it's just really, so, it's just really so much practice. easier to like just back it. Like. Uh, <laughs> man. Oh, this could be it. Oh, what a oh, shine! That's good coverage. That's clean. Sends him at that weird angle. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks for you if it happens. Oh, barely misses that up smash. Shine. High angle. That should be it. Roll up. Yep. One stock apiece. Close game. This is a pretty nice game one. Oh, straight. Yep. Oh, he just waited for him. Oh. Almost had him. Brad, not afraid to gimp people at low percents. Let's look at the games. Oh. Oh, Brad in a bad spot. Oh, that back air barely clipped him. That's gotta be it. Yeah, that's good. That's solid. That's, that's well, a good edge well, guard by Musket. Yeah, that was well played. That was like. Yeah, he's practiced it's that just, before. It's just rinse and repeat. Yeah. Good stuff from Musket. It, like, that felt very even, but I felt like. Yeah. Like, I, Musket once Musket twice. was pulling away very, very slowly. Yeah, yeah. He had a couple. Going stock for stock at the start. Yeah. And he had Musket a would just keep the yeah. extra percent on. He had a couple moments of just like a burst momentum, and then just like mm -hmm. that, like a rock solid edge guarding at the end. It feels like he, like he has the edge at the moment. Yeah. So now it's on Brad to adapt. Momentum's such a big thing in this matchup. Oh it is, but it's Bradley. also. Bradley. It's Look also it very fickle. Yeah. Red. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. This might be a zero him. to death. He catches him. Oh, oh my god. Oh That's my it. God. That Ooh. was so nice. That Man, ledge Brad's clean. barely reached. All right, cool. So basically disregard everything I just said about Musket. <laughs> the game is back up in the air, and I have no idea. Oh, Musket's got his own oh. little. Oh, wake up, Shrine Grab. Musket, not happy with Brad getting custom on him in his own domicile, <laughs> his own state. <laughs> Ooh. Nah, it's not gonna kill just yet. Ooh. Catches him. He caught him lazily drifting uh, to the edge. In the corner. He's 
it up. Top smash? No. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, kind of a scrappy ledge dash, but it worked out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he got kicked in the absolute head. <laughs> Ooh. be like, oh, now I will side beat. Ooh. Playing footsies. Clips him with the back air. Brad's getting a, I feel like he's got a little, a little full hoppy, a little uh, double jump, accidental double jump in the middle of the stage, just dropping yeah. a bit of stuff here and there. Oh god, I hate Whoa. the windmill. I hate the windmill. I sort of like it. I'm it's sort of nice. Well, it's not nice. It's very bad. I sort of like it. Ooh, okay. Plus get. Plus stage. Ooh. Interesting that he went for the air out of shield there. I mean, it looks like it's going to pay off if he can clean this up. Oh, drops it. Oh, oh I caught the double jump. Call out. A little bit of footsies. <laughs> uh, I love it. Back here. It's good as it turns out. Yeah. Can't STI this, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just laying there. Uh, that's really fast. Turns out that one's hard to react to. That was to. good by Musket, but Brad still has a full stock lead. He does. Musket's oh. going to have to pull something out of the bag if he wants to take this one. A couple crazy combos. Or like yeah. some shine stuff by the edge will work as well. That double jump was a bit scary. Bad stuck up. Oh, okay, no. alright. He went for a tight angle, but dead. now it's all tied up. Absolutely dead. Musket might be able to bring this back. Okay. Ooh, that sucks. Oh wow. Shine. Brad's under pressure now. Muscat's got all the momentum. Oh no. Oh, oh no. We saw no. his edge guarding last game and he's got oh, him off. Oh no. Right. Musket moves up 2-0 in what I believe is a best of five bracket. If you're Brad, you hate to see that. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely Makes it a lot more difficult for you. He was up, Especially he was up from the lead. One, like getting man. He was like, up three to one. Like Musket taking game on clean and then coming back on in game three. Yeah. That just comes back to what I said earlier about momentum. Yeah. Especially like it, it's so so very turnabout in this matchup. Yeah. It's very volatile. <laughs> you could, in fact, call it a volatile matchup <laughs> if you were that kind of guy. Back to stadium. Fair. Counter's not going to do much at 11%. But... Ooh, they're just kicking each other. Ooh. Boys have got something to say to each other. Ooh. I really like that down tilt follow up to get him off stage. But Ooh. Not much I could do. <laughs> Muscat just took 1% to make his own glass while still being on stage. Alright! Brad absolutely not giving up. Ooh. Muscat getting out of that little platform trick. Muscat running a couple, mm. couple circles around Brad there. Barely misses that up tilt. Yeah. Man, I tell you what, Muscat shines out of shield are so crisp for someone that like isn't like he's been playing Fox for a while now. That you know, originally being a Peach man. Yeah, yeah. Kind of makes sense since you know Peach is quite technical to play. Yes. Wow, that up smash through the platform. <laughs> it's definitely the stage for cookie up smashes. Yep. It's just a cookie stage, man. All right. Just now, gonna wait it out, looks like. players get a chance to rest their hands a little bit. Must get decides. When you're in a situation like this where someone's on the other side of the tree, you sit there like, I don't want to approach you, but I also really don't want you to approach me. Yeah. Because that spot on the left where Brad is is oh, yeah. really, really bad. Yeah, if he's right under the alcove, it's sort of safe because he can tech, but it's still, it's a, it's a dangerous zone. Yeah. It's a hot zone. Ooh. Definitely a PvP area. <laughs> PvP. I love it. Ooh. Ooh. Falling up here? I love falling up there. The chill. Catches him. Oh, he barely misses that forward tilt. That's an up smash. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good chase. 
That forward tilt edge guard, that can't be that much of a reaction. Like, it's got to be like 50% read, right? Because that tilt's sort of slow. Uh, it's surprisingly not. So, like, if you know that they're going to go there, then it's all right. Yeah, I, it's like one of those like expected reactions as opposed yeah. to a raw reaction. Yeah. And plus, even if they do go high, you can still react to it and back it. True. Okay. It's like Marth doing down tilt. Yeah, you should. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Ooh. That tech in was a little weird. Yeah. That was a really bit of a cross up. <laughs> yeah, it was an awkward little distance. Huh? Safe back air from under yeah. the plat. Turns out it went against. Same back airs. That's all you gotta do sometimes. Nice guy could just tie this up. That looks vaguely intentional. Okay, no, it was intentional. Yeah. If, you do, if you do it twice, it means you was on purpose. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is well what happens. Stuck. Game three. When you play with wall jumps on the fire transformation. Come on, Brad. Do the wall jump, double jump thing. So cool. Everyone does it. Oh, Ooh. Muscat pressing buttons. Heavy damage in the corner. Oh, my. Ooh. They're scrapping. I love a good scrap. Man, it's so close. Uh -oh. oh no. This could be it. Oh my god, what an angle. Oh, that's, that's it. it. That's it. And that's Nasuka takes it. That was Brad. a close but honestly somewhat yeah. decisive 30. It's respectable. Yeah, but for sure. I don't feel like any of them played bad in particular. Muska was just like Muska just cleaner, edged it out. His edge, edge guarding for sure, bit. I feel like was what made yeah, it like a really big difference in that set. It's just so easy when you're doing those rinse and repeat edge guards to just mess it up once. Yeah, and then they're back on stage and you're in fire above them, mm. and that's exactly. It's no good at all, as it turns out.